Hi, I'm John with Orange Mod Works, and in this video, we're going to talk about making these magazines a little more reliable when using short darts. This pertains to either pusher breech systems or our hybrid system. As long as you're using short darts with basically any dedicated short dart magazine on the market, you will probably have these issues. And the issues in question are twofold. One, in pretty much every blaster, I'm not going to put it in all the, all, all the way, but just for demonstration, you have this side-to-side -side wobble. And two, all of these magazines on the market, and this is part uh, due in part to the original you know, Nerf blasters that they're intended to be used in, the dart stack is not as close to the breech or chamber of the blaster as it should be. And it should be right there. Whenever you're loading a projectile into a chamber, the magazine needs to hold the projectile directly in front of the opening to that chamber. Any setback can cause problems. And basically what you end up with is a magazine with all of the drawbacks of something you would see in a bolt action rifle and none of the benefits. So with uh, this is probably the biggest offender. What happens is when the dart's in the magazine like that, the follower is putting upward pressure on it, and when you have multiple darts in the magazine, it's generally okay. That breech is going to come through, and that dart has upward pressure placed on it until about there, and nothing is holding it except gravity. Now, when this, and this is fine most of the time as you're firing. Now, what really, when things really go south is when you get to the last dart in the magazine because of how high the pusher or the uh, follower gets into the in line with the um, the breech as the breech comes through it makes contact with the dart and at about here it depresses the follower as the darts being pushed forward that lets the dart just wobble around and either have a nose dive causing a jam or if you're running and priming um, I've seen it's happened to me where the dart bounced up the breeches come and just mushed it and now you're stuck with a really nasty jam in the last start of your magazine so it makes changing mags harder it makes clearing that much more difficult and that's just a terrible mess so you don't want that to happen in an ideal world the dart stack would be sharing a wall with the uh, outer wall of the magazine here it would be all the way in front but that isn't very practical if you're using these magazines in sort of blasters designed to take stock mags. Um, that goes for like uh, sleeper breeches, brass breeches. If you're using the stock parts that have this structure up here and you're relying on how stock breeches function with the nose up here, you know, this is sort of what you're going to end up with. You can't really push it too far forward without adding additional supports and the magazines become more complicated. But moving on. So to fix the first problem, it depends on what kind of blast you have. If you have a long shot, you have a nice flat surface here, which is great. If you have a retaliator slashed recon mark two, there's a little step in the magazine well, but you still have a flat surface. It's just less pronounced. So there are a couple ways to go about fixing the first issue, which is mag wobble. So in retaliators and recon mark twos, I like to add a piece of EVA craft foam right up in here. And this idea was inspired by the FN FS 2000, that funky looking bullpup rifle they make. Um, if you ever played around with one of those, uh, they won't take like Magpul P-Mags, they will only take those old USGI metal mags because there's like a series of rubber fingers inside that keep dust out where most people just take a pocket knife and cut those things out. Um, well, anyway, this is inspired by that. So what you're going to need is a five millimeter EVA foam. I think actually this is six millimeter EVA foam. You can pick this stuff up at Hobby Lobby or Amazon whatever is convenient, it's super cheap, and you need a piece that's about 17 millimeters wide and 26 millimeters long. 
already have this marked out. I'm just going to cut it out real fast. What you're going to do is cut that out. Try to keep your lines as straight as possible. And you will need double-sided tape. You need good double-sided tape. This is real cheap and it doesn't work that well, but it'll do for the video. But you want the good stuff, like 3M or something. And we're going to peel the length of that, match it up to our foam, stick it in the center if possible, ideally. It doesn't have to be perfect. And really, the double-sided tape is so you can give this mod a try. If you don't like it, then it's easy to take it off. And if you end up uh, liking the more stable magazine and don't mind the added difficulty of removing the magazine, you can use hot glue to hold the foam in. Hot glue works a lot better than the tape. Uh, don't use super glue. Um, super glue will melt through a lot of different foams. I'm not sure about EVA, but I wouldn't risk it. So once you have your foam, this is basically going to go here, but we have this 90 degree edge right there. That could catch on your magazine and rip the foam off or just make it harder to put your magazine in. So take a hobby knife or razor blade and cut that at a 45 degree angle. The sharper the knife, the easier this is. You don't want to use a lot of pressure because the foam tends to roll and get really messy. And you just take the edge off like that. And that's going to sit up in here like so. And now the edge of the foam is recessed behind this structure here. So when the magazine comes in, it's going to hit that slope and insert smoothly. So we just peel the tape here. Easier said than done. Okay. So we're going to line that up with this surface. You don't really need to have it in the center. You just want it in line with that edge. Press it down nice and firmly and give it a test. So that foam sticks into the magazine well about one millimeter and it's really not too hard to take it in and out. If you like having your mags drop free, this is not going to be the mod for you. But I think most people um, don't like their mags hitting the ground, so it's not too, not too big a deal. So when that magazine is inserted, as you can see in the top, it doesn't wobble back and forth, which really assists in making sure the darts line up. So if the mag's allowed to wobble, it increases the distance between this surface and the mouth of the chamber. And you have them offset like this. And that gives a nice flat edge for the dart to catch on and fail to load. Uh, for comparison, this blaster does not have the mod done. And this is the type of wobble we're looking at. And that, that is significant. If you just look at the offset here, you know, that's like three mil, three millimeters. You're running around priming. You know, when the breech is forward, it doesn't really move, but it doesn't matter when the breech is forward. You want it to be stable while you're priming back and then forward. And that is that is a lot of wobble. So for the retaliator, that's how you do it. And I have one installed right here. Well, got to prime first. So let me just load two just for a, a demo so well I realize it doesn't really show you but uh, last dart in the magazine worker dart and just slamming it forward it holds that head holds that dart in place so that's for a retaliator, just goes up in there. For a long shot, it's a little trickier because you just have this flat edge. And now I've tried two ways 
And what you're going to want is one millimeter or two millimeter EVA foam. I just have, still have the label on this one. It's just from Hobby Lobby. Two millimeter. And you're going to cut a thin strip and you're just going to paste it on the inside there. Same thing. Um, it takes a little more wear and tear in the long shot because it doesn't have that protected protected edge there so the foam may peel but like I said the whole foam double-sided tape thing is just to uh, give it a try if you like how your blaster feeds with this mod you can go ahead and put a more permanent solution in the long shot that could be uh, bits of plastic packaging or um, layered up cardboard with glue anything smooth to uh, hold that magazine in place And the wobble is just as bad in the long shot as other blasters. And you only have to fill in about one millimeter. I use two millimeter foam and it compresses down over time. But and like I said, if you like how that feeds, you can just use a more permanent solution. So moving on to solution number two which is to build up the surface here. And to do that, you're gonna go back to the two millimeter foam, cut a thin strip, about one centimeter wide. The length at this point doesn't really matter. You don't have to cover this whole width here, that whole distance, you just need to you know, cover most of it. So what we're gonna do is we have got, we've got our piece here, same double-sided tape, and if you can get higher quality tape, I would recommend that. We're gonna stick that on. And trim it. Well. there we're going to lay this in fold it in half and lay it in the front and carefully make sure it follows that contour push that in grab your knife and just trim that foam down careful not to cut your mag. And there we go. Sort of the quick and dirty version. And if you try this out and you like how it feeds, you can put in a more permanent solution. So I'm going to demonstrate this one on the long shot. Oh, I can't really fire safely in here. For the viewers. So this is a little easier to demo. The mag is still going to wobble, but as this is loaded, see that nosedive? There's the foam up underneath that dart, preventing it from diving. Let me make sure that's on, on camera. Okay. It's still going to dive, but there's foam supporting the dart between here and here. So as that nose dips, the dart is already you know, 90% of the way into the chamber. And it can load. Oh. Okay. And for a better test, this is a stock dart. Last dart in the magazine. See, it's gonna dip. But as you can see, that was a really good example. As it dips, the head of the dart hits that foam and bounces off into the chamber. Not ideal, but better than the alternative. Jeez. And for comparison, this magazine does not have any mods done to it. This is just smooth in the front. And you'll see that 
the darts dip is a lot more pronounced. And the last dart in the magazine can have those issues. That one loaded. Oh, that bounced back all the way to me. All right. So give these a try. Simplest mod is just to add foam right up here. This works in most cases. If you want to take it a step further, paste some foam up inside the magwell of your blaster, either long shot or retaliator, and you'll have an extremely stable feed system. Let's see. Yeah, I keep forgetting it's there. And as you know, uh, worker darts are having trouble loading in our hybrid breach, but with the magazine held in place and that foam up front goes right in. Yeah. Let's see if I can do one more close up a little slower. just gets pushed back into the breach. Probably the hybrid system isn't the best example, but yeah, that should fix most of your feed problems. And that goes for our kits and various pusher systems that are out there. So give this a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.